Retail Friday, our favorite day of the week. Well, mine. Yours? Oh, well, close to mine, yeah. Close it's to yours. One of them. It's one of them. Sean Day's from Velvet, and he makes great cocktails, and today he's going to show us how to make... Today we're going to make a black, or excuse me, an Oregon black plum sangria. So a sangria can be so many different things, but more or less it's a wine, liquor, citrus concoction together. Okay. So with this one we're going to use Oregon black plums that we actually get canned. And then we're going to muddle up some citrus, so we'll throw a lime and lemon in there. A couple Who came of up limes. With this? I would never think to put a plum in a cocktail. Uh, actually, the owner came up with it. Okay. Yeah. So, so if we want to steal it from her, we just say we made it up. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna muddle these ingredients up together. Really get the juices out of the fruits. The plum makes it really colorful, so I'm glad we have it in there. Absolutely. So we're gonna top this off with a little more ice, just to. Just because that's how I do it. Yeah. We're gonna throw in some white wine. How much white wine? So now in this case, you know, it's gonna be going in this glass, so it's more or less gonna be about a glass of wine. So, like picture a glass of all wine. Together. And, all together. Right, okay. exactly. So in this case, I'm gonna pour it to about there. This is the problem with bartenders. They are so good at just estimating everything so that when you're like, what exactly, how much? It's, yeah, it's just it's by feel, an, it's isn't a, it? It's an eye and a feel thing, totally is. There's a reason you're doing this and I'm just standing here. So in this case, with this sangria, we're gonna use a little bit of brandy. Okay. Top it off with. It's a very interesting mix of things. We've got some peach soda here. Could you use any kind of soda or does it have to be like no, really I mean, light, like peach, something For similar. this specific cocktail, we're just, any peach. Do, really. So we'll take that and then, where's my mixer? Here it is. I'm gonna shake this one up. How many shakes? <laughs> just really want to get it mixed in there, basically. How do you get that like really cool bartender feel? Like, oh, you just like add a little bit of wine. I wish I was that. Shakes. I wish I was that cool. Well, maybe so, it easy. So this is our sangria. This is our sangria, and that's pretty much it. Can you make it with red wine as well? Absolutely. That's actually uh, I'm glad you asked that. So this is kind of a summer cocktail, but you can actually make it with red wine and kind of turn it into a fall cocktail. Oh Maybe add a cinnamon stick to it. Really good. Can you have sangria warm? That question. No. I, I mean, you can. I don't know Should if you, you want to, probably. No. Okay, well this is really good, awesome. so I guess we'll keep it cold. Again, tell me though what's in this one so people at home can so make it. So this one again is the uh, Oregon Black Plums. It's got uh, lemon and lime, muddle up, kind of mix the juices together. Um, it's got the uh, white wine, so basically a glass of white wine, just a little bit of brandy, maybe a, not even a quarter shot of brandy, uh -huh. and then top with the peach juice and shake it up, and that's it. All right, one more sip. Yep, still good. Awesome. All right, try it at home.